Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mass key skill video on the relationship between scale factors of length and volume. So we've got two solids, A and B, which are similar. And what it means for these solids to be similar is that everything is in the same proportion. So for example, if the height was to double from A to B, then the diameter would also double as well. Now in A, suppose solid A had height 5 centimetres and B had height 10 centimetres. If the volume of A is 40 centimetres cubed, what is the volume of B? Well, let's look at what information we have here. We've got the heights of A and B are 5 centimetres and 10 centimetres. And we've also got the volume of A is 40 centimetres cubed. And we're trying to find this volume of B here. Now we should start by finding the scale factor of length from A to B. So what's the scale factor of length? I'm using SF for scale factor. Well we can see going from solid A to solid B the height is getting twice as big. 5 times 2 is 10. So we do 10 divided by 5. That gives us a scale factor of length of 2. All the lengths are becoming twice as big going from A to B. Now we saw in the previous video that if we had the scale factor of length, we could find the scale factor of area, say surface area, by squaring the scale factor of length. Now you might be able to guess that therefore to find the scale factor of volume, you take the scale factor of length and you cube it. So the scale factor of volume from solid A to solid B is that 2 cubed and we get 8. So that means going from A to B, the volume is eight times as big. Well, we've got the volume of A, so we just need to times it by eight to get the volume of B. So the volume of B is just 40 multiplied by that scale factor of volume of eight, and that's 320 centimeters cubed. What about the second part of the question? Suppose A had volume 50 centimetres cubed and B 1,350 centimetres cubed. If the height of B is 15 centimetres, what is the height of A? Well, I find the table helpful again, just to lay out our information. So this time we're given the two volumes. We've got the volumes are 50 centimetres cubed and 1,350 centimetres cubed. And we're also given the height of B, which is 15, and we're trying to find the height in centimetres of A. Well, this time, because we've got both the volumes, we can find the scale factor of volume. So how many times bigger is this than this? Well, we can just do appropriate division. So the scale factor of volume is 1,350 divided by 50 to see how many times bigger it is. And if we do that, we get 27. So the volume of B is 27 times bigger than A. Now thinking backwards, to go from the scale factor of length to the scale factor of volume, we cubed this number, didn't we? So therefore, doing the reverse, if we had the scale factor of volume and we wanted to find the scale factor of length, we cube root that scale factor of volume. So we can find the scale factor of length, for example, height, um, by cube rooting that 27, and the cube root of 27 is 3. So that means any lengths going from A to B are going to become 3 times as big. So, if the new height is 15, what would have been the original height if we're timesing all the lengths, such as height, by 3? Well, clearly it's 5. So the height of A, we can see if we do 15 divided by the 3, we get 5 centimetres. And that is the final answer.